Hello and welcome. My name is Kara and I talk about knitting at theknitmckinley.com. This is episode six of a new yarn review podcast I've started and for this episode I am going to talk a little bit about Lion Brand's Wool Ease Thick and Quick Yarn. That is I believe the slate colorway. Yes, the slate colorway. But first let me talk about the hat that I have on my needles and why I am particularly excited about this hat. So earlier I had mailed off a box of hats to donate to Hat Not Hate. I had done 21 because there was a cool hashtag, 21 in 2021. And then they ended up extending the deadline to submit hats. So I have cast on the anchored hat pattern for another donation to Hat Not Hate. And I am really excited about this. This is going to be knit in the Lion Brand Pound of Love. This is actually what I have left of a skein. The Lion Brand Pounds of Love have over um, 900 yards on them. It's 100% worsted weight acrylic wool yarn, 100% acrylic yarn, and it is great for hat donations. It comes in a bunch of pretty colors, and for a program where you are giving hats that may need to be washed or cared for, it is a great hard-wearing yet soft and pretty fiber to work with. So. That is what I have knit so far of my anchored hat. It's only a couple of inches, but I will continue working on that. So they've extended the deadline to September 13th. So if you were thinking about donating hats, check it out at hatnothate.org and um, knit a blue hat or two. So let's turn to the yarn that is the subject of today's yarn review. And that is the Woolies Thick and Quick yarn. So Lion Brand Company has had Woolies Thick and Quick out on the market for at least a decade that I know of. And I've been knitting for about 15 years, maybe a little longer at this point. And this yarn has definitely been around for pretty much as long as I've been knitting. So I can say affirmatively a decade because I can go back and look at old pictures <laughs> that I posted on Ravelry and like confirm that I've had it that long but I don't know how long um, they have offered this particular yarn. So Woolly is Thick and Quick is an 80% acrylic, 20% wool yarn. It is a super bulky weight yarn and it comes in a variety of different colors that are solid. It comes in a variety of colors that are metallic. You can see like this is the poinsettia color and it has a red metallic thread wrapped around it. And then it comes in some striping colors. So this, as an example, is the Coney Island colorway. And you can see it has some, I would almost call them variegated stripes. Um, they're not solid. So if, if you look closely, it's the colors are wound around like what looks like a wheat base throughout this hat. But it does form stripes. When you look at it from a distance, you can fairly accurately tell that there are stripes involved in that. So one of the things that I should caveat about this yarn, and it's one of the downsides, is that if you're using this yarn and you're planning like a super bulky sweater or a scarf pattern, you should make sure that you get the right yardage for your project. And the reason I say that is because the skeins will look effectively the same when they're sitting on the shelf, but they have different yardages on them depending upon what kind of a color you buy. So for example, the solid colors, they come in six ounce balls or 148 grams. And these have, it's 106 yards and 97 meters on them. The stripes and the metallics both come on 140 gram balls, which works out to be, let's find it, five ounces. So these come in five ounces, not the six, but they have, these actually have slightly different yardages. So you're Metallics have 92 yards on them, and then your stripes only have 87 yards on them. So I suspect that the weight difference is because of the metallic thread. It must just work out to be five yards at the end of the day. But if you are looking at an awesome scarf or a sweater and you are working with super bulky yarn, know that if you're using a solid color, you will likely not need as many balls as if you go down to a striping color. And you just want to make sure because with a full like 19 yard difference between each ball, you're probably going to find yourself needing at least an extra ball or two if you use a metallic or a stripe yarn. But all three of these um, kinds of colors in the Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick yarn call for the same um, 
recommended needle size, which is a US 13, which makes sense for a super bulky yarn. And they all say for knitters that um, you would get the four by four inch square would be nine stitches and 12 rows on your US 13. For crocheters, they also recommend a 13 or an N hook, also a nine millimeter, a US 13 knitting needle is a nine millimeter. And they're saying the crochet hook is also a nine millimeter. But it says that it's 6.6 .6 single crochet and eight rows per four inch square. So I just find that so funky that they give you a decimal point with your um, gauge on the, it's this, and then also on the Woolies, the Worsted Weight by Lion brand, it says something like it's 13.2 single crochets per four inch square. So I just think that makes your math a little more challenging, but I don't know. I'm not a crocheter, so I can't speak to that with any sort of authority. So this yarn is great for a lot of things. So as I mentioned, the yardage does vary, so that is one asterisk. And while you can use this yarn for a lot of things, there are some things to take into consideration. So let's look closely at a strand for a moment. So this yarn is fairly loosely spun. So when you look at it, and I'm trying to just block my face so that the camera thinks to focus on the yarn itself. There we go. Um, that is loosely spun and it does have a little bit of a halo to it. Now, this is a soft yarn. Um, I can comfortably wear this against my skin and I do find certain lanolin rich 100% wools to be a little itchy. So I do think this is good for soft um, direct on skin wear, but because it is loosely spun, because it has a lot of acrylic in it, one of the things you're going to watch out for is pilling. And so if you're knitting a sweater, you're going to need to think about the fact that under your arms where, you know, you're walking and living your everyday life, if you knit a sweater out of this, you're probably going to see a lot of wear and a lot of pilling in the underarms. But it will probably also make a beautiful sweater in whatever color way you pick because this yarn comes in a ton of gorgeous colors. Also, I don't think you could knit yourself socks out of this like that you would wear in shoes, but if you were interested in looking for like a bulky um, or rather a super bulky uh, slipper pattern, I think these would make great super cozy winter slippers. I mostly use this hat, um, this yarn for accessories, particularly hats. So I have knit a couple of scarves and cowls out of it, but let me show you what I've made with this yarn using hats and talk about what the experience of knitting with it is. So first, I already showed this when showing an example of the striping yarn, but this is the super simple, super bulky hat pattern. This is a free um, pattern I have up on my blog, so I'll link to this below. And it's really, so you get the ribbing I do on US 11, and then I switch up to the US 13, and you really do get pretty nice stitch definition. But what you can see is there is a little bit haloing, and it's funny, this overcast day is actually working to my advantage, I think, to both show the colors fairly well and also um, show the little bit of stitch definition and haloing you get. So you do end up with these really nice, really plump, really squishy stitches um, when you work in stockinette stitch. So that is what it looks like in stockinette stitch with a striping colorway. So you can also work all over ribbon this, and that this is a hat I did, um, I was just experimenting with, so this isn't a pattern I have available. But this is just one by one rib, all over one by one rib. This is the Hudson Bay colorway. And I did this all on the US 11 needles so that my ribbed stitches would stay a little neater. Um, I played with the US 13, I thought it looked a little sloppy. Um, but you can still see really good, really plump stitches. And I think that's something that is a trademark of this yarn. The stitches are really plump. So if you're looking at doing something that is heavily textured or even like a really, you know, a US 13 needle, and <laughs> like a lace pattern, um, you probably want to be a little bit careful about actually losing that stitch definition. Um, I would stick to pretty simple patterns and pattern repeats. As an example, I played with cables a lot. And this is actually a one over two cable, which means it's a three stitch cable. And I think that this yarn with this kind of a stitch definition pops pretty well in that cable pattern. Um, this is the starlight. This is a metallic color. And let me go ahead and show that in the cilantro too. And this is it in the cilantro colorway. So it is ribbed. So when you actually put it on your head, it you get a little more of the individual column feel to it. But with this kind of a yarn, 
if you were to do more complicated cables or more um, sort of in-depth patterning, the thing I would want to advise against is um, casting on without swatching because you really want to make sure when you're working with a super bulky yarn that you don't end up with a fabric that's too stiff or that just absolutely loses the pattern. So in addition to keeping an eye out on knitting garments and pilling, I would also say consider using simpler stitch patterns and really letting the yarn um, sort of show itself off in knits that you make with super bulky yarns, especially the woolly stick and quick. So one more hat. This is a Lincoln Woods hat. Now this isn't slate because this skein is slate and it's I think this is just called gray. I will double check in just a second. This is the Lincoln Woods hat and this is really simple color work. You actually alternate rows where you do a plain row without the little cream dots and then you do a row with the little cream dots. And then I have a pom-pom on top of this. You can actually see when I cut the woolly stick and quick yarn into a pom-pom, it really unwound itself and made this beautiful like very luscious squeezable pom-pom. And again, with this hat, you can also see you have really plump stitches. So while you get really cool stitch definition, I again would want to suggest that you veer on the side of simpler stitch patterns. So here it is in one by one rib with a stockinette stitch <laughs> with a little bit of color work. And then last but not least, with some cabling. So I use this yarn quite a lot. I like it because it is um, incredibly fast to work with. So if you're knitting hats um, as gifts or for a community um, event or for a charity event, these are really great in that you can knit a lot of them really fast and it is a little bit dense and thick and it does have 20% wool content in it. So it is something that will be good and warm. Now, one of the downsides, and this is kind of funny, um, this yarn will get heavy fast. So if you're knitting with a worsted weight yarn, your hat um, will take significantly more yardage, but I find it doesn't feel as heavy as when I'm working with a super bulky yarn. So one of the other things to watch out for is pain and tension in your forearms when you're knitting with something that's going to be a little bit heavier. So it's just one of those strange things where um, lots and lots of positives um, and just a few drawbacks to trying out this yarn. So that is Woolies Thick and Quick and my experience in using it. And it's interesting because I can actually go back and I can see either on Ravelry or from my original blog that I have been using this yarn for actually a decade at this point. I keep coming back to it because it is a yarn that is so good for so many different types of projects. And if you're like me and you enjoy knitting as donations for different charities or community events, um, it is great in that you can knit a hat that will be of a fairly nice quality. I mean, there is absolutely nothing low quality or bad about these hats. And because they have 20% wool, because you have really good plump stitches, these are actually really good warm winter hats while still also being machine washable if that is something that the ultimate user needs to keep in mind. So if you found this content useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have questions um, or if you would like to tell me what you use woolly stick and quick yarn, leave a comment below. I'm always interested in hearing other people's experiences with the yarn. And also consider subscribing to this channel. Doing things like liking and subscribing gives me an idea of if these yarn reviews are useful. And as always, I am Kara. I blog at theknitmckinley.com. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you on Mondays and Thursdays with a new yarn review. Have a great day.